بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله In the previous video we uh, talked about the rules theorem and in this video we will talk about the mean value theorem We said that rules theorem in rules theorem F has to satisfy three conditions uh, It has to be continuous on the closed interval AB differentiable on the open interval AB and F of A equals F of B and when f of a equals f of b, for example, here, uh, if this is if this is f of a, and this is f of b, when they are equal, then the line connecting a and b, capital A, the point a and the point b, this line connecting the two points, then there exists c in the interval a b such that the tangent line at c is horizontal. Uh, is parallel to this line and since f of a equals f of b then the line connecting them is horizontal and the tangent line at c is horizontal now in the mean value theorem this condition is not is not there we are not asking that f of a equals f of b only f should be continuous on the closed interval and should be differential on the open interval but f of a could be different than f of b and in this case, the line connecting A and B would be like this. And there exists, now the mean value theorem says, there exists C between A and B such that the tangent line at C is parallel to the line connecting A and B. If these two lines are parallel, what does this say? It says that uh, the slope, they have the same slope. So the slope, of the tangent line at C is F prime at C and the slope of the secant line between A B is difference change of Y over change in X so F of B minus F of A over B minus A so the two lines have the same slope which means that the two lines are parallel so this is what the mean value theorem says we could have one C or maybe more than one C here. In this case, the line connecting AB is the blue one and there are two tangent lines uh, at two different numbers C1 and C2 between AB. Uh, these two tangent lines are parallel to AB. So F prime at C1 equals uh, the slope of this line. Draw the graph of a function that's continuous on 0, 8, where f of 0 is 1, and f of 8 is 4. So this is f of 8, and this is f of 0. And now the line connecting a and B, there should be C between 0, 8, uh, such that the tangent line at C is parallel to this line, but only if two conditions are, are satisfied. First one, the function F should be continuous. Well, he said here, F is continuous on 0, 8. So the first condition is satisfied. But he did not say anything about the second condition. And he said, uh, draw a graph of a function that's continuous and that doesn't satisfy the conclusion of the mean value theorem. If, if it doesn't satisfy the conclusion of the mean value theorem, it has to be not differentiable then. So it will be not differentiable if there is a corner in the graph. So I can, for simplicity, draw two lines like this. Two lines and the there is a corner they meet at a corner so this is now a corner and uh, it, the function is not differentiable at this point at the corner and you can see that there is no c uh, in which the tangent line at c would be parallel to the line connecting a and and b because either I have this line or this line and the two lines are not parallel to the green line 
and there is no tangent line at the corner because the function is not is not differentiable. So if is not differentiable at uh, zero eight uh, and no c no c between zero eight satisfy the conclusion satisfies the conclusion of the mean value theorem because one of the conditions does not hold but pay attention to this if one of the conditions does not hold this doesn't mean that c there is no c okay it could happen there is a c although one of the conditions uh, is not hold but uh, no guarantee okay so the theorem guarantees the existence of c if the two conditions hold if one of them or both the, do not hold then uh, there is no guarantee but it could happen okay verify that the function satisfies the hypothesis of the mean value theorem on the given interval then find all numbers c satisfy the conclusion of the mean value theorem so let us first verify uh, the hypothesis of the mean value theorem is if continuous on the closed interval zero and the answer is yes, because the domain of f, f is a polynomial, its domain consists of all real numbers, so it's continuous on r and especially on 0, 2. Also, f prime of x uh, is equal to 4x minus 3, and this is also a polynomial. So the domain of f prime is all real numbers and f is differentiable on r and especially on the open interval 0 to. So the hypotheses are uh, satisfied. So by, me, by mean value theorem, uh, there exists c such that f prime of c is equal to f of b which is 2 in this case minus f of a so this is a and this is b over 2 minus 0. Now f of 2 is 8 minus 6 2 plus 1 is 3 and f of 0 is 1 2 minus 0 is 2 2 over 2 is 1 so f prime of c is equal to 1. Well, f prime of x is 4x minus 3, so f prime of c would be 4c minus 3, and this is equal to 1. So 4c is 4, and c is 1, and 1 belongs to the open interval 0, 2. So this is the c, uh, the number c that satisfy the conclusion of the mean value theorem. Again, here in this uh, exercise, the domain of f as all real numbers because it's a polynomial so f is continuous on the closed interval uh, negative 2 and 2 and f prime of x is 3x squared minus 3 and this is again a polynomial and the domain consists of all real numbers so f is differentiable on the open interval negative 2 and 2. So by the mean value theorem, there exists C, a number between negative 2 and 2, such that f prime of C equals f of B, which is 2, minus f of A, which is negative 2, over 2 minus minus 2 and f of 2 is 8 minus 6 2 plus 2 4 and f of negative 2 negative 8 plus 6 plus 2 so that's 0 over 2 plus 2 that's 4 so it is 1 so f prime of c is 1 f prime of x is 3x square minus 3 so 3c square minus 3 would be f prime of c and it is equal to 1. So 3c squared 
would be equal to 4, 1 plus 3, and c square equals 4 over 3, and this is 1 point something. Uh, also, c would be plus or minus square root of 4, which is 2 over square root of 3. And this is also 1 point something. So this number belongs, the two numbers, the positive and the negative. 1 point something, negative 1 point something, they belong to the open interval negative 2 and 2. So there are two numbers that satisfy the conclusion of the mean value theorem in this case. Here, f of x is equal to ln x. Uh, if the domain of the logarithmic function uh, from is from 0 to infinity, and 1 and 4 is part of this domain, so f is continuous on the closed interval 1 and 4. f prime of x is 1 over x. And uh, so the domain of f prime, all the real numbers except the zero. So f prime exists everywhere except at zero. So one and four does not have the zero. So f is differentiable on the open interval one and four. So by mean value theorem, there exists a number c between one and four such that f prime at c or of c is equal to f of b which is 4 minus f of 1 f of a over 4 minus 1 f of 4 is len 4 f of 1 is 0 4 minus 1 is 3 so f prime of c is len 4 over 3 f prime of c is 1 over c so 1 over c equals ln 4 over 3. This means that c is equal to 3 over ln 4. And if I use calculator to check this number, it is 2.16. And this number belongs to the interval, the open interval 1 and 4. So it is the value of c that satisfy the conclusion of the mean value theorem. For this function, the domain consists of all real numbers except zero. So f is continuous on the closed interval one and three because it doesn't have the zero in it. And f is uh, differentiable also on the open interval one and three since f prime of x is negative one over x squared and the domain of f prime consists of all real numbers except zero and zero does not belong to one and three so by mean value theorem okay there exists c belongs to one the open interval one and three such that f prime of c is equal to f of 3 minus f of 1 over 3 minus 1, which is 2. f of 3 is 1 over 3. f of 1 is 1 over 1, which is 1. So f prime of c, which is negative 1 over c squared, is equal to 1 over 3 minus 1, which is negative 2 over 3, over 2, and that's negative 1 over 3. Negative 1 equals to negative 1, so c squared must equal to 3, and then c is positive or negative square root of 3, which is 1.7, around 1.7. But a negative square root of 3 does not belong to the open interval 1 and 3. So the value of c that satisfy the conclusion of the mean value theorem is square root of three. It is one around 1.7 and it belongs to the interval one and three. Now in this question, show that there is no value of c in one and four uh, such that the 
the conclusion of the mean value theorem uh, is satisfied. So here, this is another way to write that f prime of c is equal to f of 4 minus f of 1, f of b minus f of a over 4 minus 1. Well, if there is no C, then one of the conditions has to be not uh, satisfied. Uh, if it doesn't, if this does not contradict the mean value theorem. Well, f of x is 1 over x minus 3 to the power 2. And if we find the domain of this function, it is all real numbers except 3. So if is not continuous at 3, but 3 belongs to the interval 1 and 4. So f is not continuous uh, on the open interval 1 and 4. So f does not satisfy the hypothesis of the mean value theorem. So if there is no C, then this does not contradict the mean value theorem. But let us check whether there is a C or not. So let us find f prime of x. So f prime of x is the derivative of x minus 3 to the power negative 2. And that's negative 2 times x minus 3 to the power negative 3. And this would be, I can write it as negative 2 over x minus 3 to the power 2. So now, f prime of c would be negative 2 over c minus 3 squared. And f of 4 is 4 minus 3, that's 1, so it's 1. And f of 1, 1 minus 3, negative 2 squared, so it's 1 over 4, over 4 minus 1, which is 3. So this means that negative 2 over c minus 3 squared should be equal to a cube, sorry. This is cube. Uh, negative 3 over 4 over 3 is negative 1 over 4. So uh, multiply by negative sign. Okay, I can. And then c minus 3 to the power 3 cross product would be equal to 8. This means that c minus 3 is the cube root of 8, which is 2. Oh, 1 minus 1 over 4 is 3 over 4. It is not negative 3 over 4. So 1 minus 1 over 4 is 3 over 4 over 3, that's 1 over 4. So this would be negative 8, and this would be negative 2. And then C would be 3 plus negative 2, that's 1. And 1 does not belong to the open interval 1 and 4, because it's 1 and 1 does not belong to this open interval. And this means C does not exist, but this does not contradict the mean value theorem, because F does not satisfy the hypothesis of the mean value theorem. Thank you very much. I hope uh, you understand now the mean value theorem.